All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to episode 43, maybe, of Mog Monday. We got a real cool one for you. I had to pull some strings, all right? Make some phone calls. I had to call up some uh, some goblin matrons and goblin ringleaders, and we got them. Four copies of Muxus Goblin Grandee. Um, big thanks to Goblin Lackey One, who loaned me two copies, and also got me the hookup for the other two copies from uh, uh, from Fred Shred. So big thanks to Fred Shred. Big thanks to Goblin Lackey One. Big shout outs. Thank you all for loaning me these mucks because the card hoarder loan service doesn't have jumpstart cards yet. And Muxus is basically impossible to find on Magic Online. This is like this is like Black Lotus and paper, basically. So we're playing a Turbo Muxus deck in Legacy. This is Caleb Durward's list. Caleb, obviously, great streamer, great magic player, good dude. And Caleb, I know, tweeted about this a few days ago, saying, why not just play Turbo Mux in Legacy? Why why not just play Chrome Mox and Ancient Tomb and just like do it? And I had a very similar idea. Um, but once I saw that Muxus was basically unattainable, didn't bother trying to build it. So we're just going to steal Caleb's list. Caleb has been doing well with this list in some of the Gen Con events. And we have here a Goblin deck in Legacy. We're not playing Aether Vial. This is a more aggressive version of Goblins. Um, we're playing, obviously, for Goblin Lackey. We're playing a card that I poo-poo a lot in Warren Instigator. But we're doing it with Chrome Mox, so it makes more sense. So we can cast the Instigator on turn one. So we have a lot more shots at a turn one lackey effect. And then um, we have eight Warchief effects in Goblin Chieftain and Goblin Warchief. And then we're just trying to cast Muxus as soon as possible, basically. And as we've seen in Historic, you cast the card Muxus, you kind of win the game most of the time. Like this card is just, it's just a very silly six mana you win the game. And of course in Legacy, we have access to four copies of Cavern of Souls because you can't even counter it. Uh, got the Matrons, Chieftains, still playing four Ringleaders. So we're, we can still grind here. Um, only one gem bomb feels suspect to me. You know, they play a blocker, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but it's sort of play the list as is. Definitely a very focused list. This list should be, should be better against uh, against combo decks because we're so fast and linear. And then um, no no wastelands, no ports. We're just trying to kill them. We got caverns, chrome mox, ancient doom. Sideboard's got chalices because we have the ancient tombs and chrome moxes, so our chalices seem really sweet. Uh, Tormod script. Chain Wheeler, Creator Maker, Trash Master, Power Pieces, Power Blast. Pretty simple deck list. Pretty simple deck list. And uh, should be a lot of fun here, honestly. Deck seems super fun. Let's join a Legacy League. Let's see what we can do here with Caleb's Turbo Mux deck. Let's go. Let's do this. Just another Mog Monday. That's my funder. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, we're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow in there. Watching on YouTube, let me know what you think of the new uh, new setup and stuff. We're still getting there. It's just a beta test of a setup. we got to get uh, a lot of things done. I have a lot of work to do this week. Um, and of course, check out my sponsors, CoolStuffInc.com. Promo code GM5, 5% off your order on CoolStuffInc.com. My slides aren't up yet, but go to CoolStuffInc.com. Check out my, my video today. It goes up at 11 a.m. The Secret Life of Pets in Standard. Want to see a cool Standard deck that's totally off the radar? I can beat Team Reclamation. Tomorrow, Secret Life Pets. All right, I'm going to close the chat so it looks better. Yeah, I like that better. Um, check that out tomorrow, or today, coolstuffinc.com. And uh, we'll discuss other sponsors a little bit later. So, kind of an interesting hand here. We have a turn one lackey. We are on the play. And then if we brick on the lackey, we have a Chrome Mox and an Ancient Tomb for Ringleader. We need to draw a red, a red card. But we're going to keep this hand. We're just going to ship it. Just let it ride. Lackey into Ringleader is obviously not as good as Mux, but it's still pretty good. What's up, Legion? How's it going, everyone? When am I planning to return to my normal streaming schedule? Probably in a few weeks. Um, I still have a lot to do uh, to set up a stream. still have a lot of work to do in the house. Uh, our kitchen's coming soon. We have to finish painting the hallways and stuff. Um, still a lot to do here. Still a lot to do. We're still probably a little bit away. I, ho I hope to open the Eurodeck Lives in like a week or two. Um, because frankly, we need some money. Um, kitchens, kitchens aren't cheap, you know, but, um, we're getting there. We're getting there. I have a lot of work to do this week. I have to do, I gotta buy a lot of stuff. I gotta buy a new camera. I gotta get the proper lighting so the green screen actually works. Um, I gotta get 
We haven't, we haven't actually moved our stuff yet. Like all of our stuff's still at my dad's house. You know, oh my God. They're playing the same thing probably. Or it's just like a Blood Moon deck, but yeah, uh, there's a Blood Moon deck, never mind. Don't stop my Goblin Lackey, you son of a bitch. Uh, so we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's going to go over here, I guess. Put that like here? Sure. All right. Not great, but we didn't draw. We need to draw literally any red card in our entire deck to uh, to Chrome Box a ringleader there, which kind of sucks. But all right, play mountains. There you go. Not a great start, but these matchups tend to be really good for us. Obviously, the Blood Moon decks aren't very good against the mono red deck. So appreciate y'all's patience. Moving is a difficult process. Moving while fixing up a house and building an office is a uh, stressful. City traders. Kind of like a Chandra here. Sure. How many lands in our deck? I don't actually know offhand. Check the cardboard live overlay. They Chandra plus hit Magus of the Moon. We take two. And now he gets a ringleader and attack this Chandra, which is pretty cool. And then obviously if we just uh, find a, a Mux, we get to just fire off next turn, which is pretty great. So ringleader... Hits. Bingo. Damn. So now we're, we're just gonna mock something right now. So we have to discard a card. Um, we're gonna mox probably a matron. And then, can I matron for mux? No, right? Matron, no, nah, we're way short on that. So I'll just ship a matron here. And get a fire in, attack Chandra. And this game's looking Pretty good for us. Pretty good. Goblin Ringleader always comes through on Mog Monday. Always comes through. Tap in three. Goblin Rabble Master. Really, opponent? Think you're going to play a goblin against me on Mog Monday? God, come on, green screen. Work right. <sighs> Hashtag soon. Play land. Sac City Traders. Three red in the pool. Now what? Trinisphere? That's pretty good. Um, we're probably going to get a Major for Gem Bomb, I guess, and kill this uh, Rabble Master. They're almost out of cards, so... Let's see what we draw here. It's funny, because most of our cards cost a lot anyway. Hey! <laughs> or we'll just draw Gem Bomb. That works, too. Um, so now we can just Gem Bomb and Chieftain down the Chandra and we're in pretty good shape. So let's float a colorless. We can actually, we can't do everything. There's too many red symbols to go Chieftain, Gem Palm and War Marshal. Um, we could also just like set up for Muxus next turn. Probably just do that, right? It's like play, you know, play Matron, get Mux, play Marshall, and then Gem Palm down the thing and then attack. Then we can't kill Chandra, though. I think killing Chandra is a pretty big game. Um, Matron. Yeah, we're one short. Muxing next turn is pretty appealing. I think we can give him one, one more turn with Chandra. All right, so let's do that. Play red. Play matron. Oh, I'm sorry. This costs three. I'm stupid. All right, whatever. I think it doesn't really matter, honestly. Um, let's get a uh, little mux daddy. Yeah, we're just gonna play a uh, play land. Cycle gem bomb. Sure. They get one turn with Chandra. Fine. Whatever. It's fine. If we if we had cheated in this turn, we can't mux next turn, so just ship it. They're not gonna kill us this turn. What are they gonna do? You know? Like two, four, five, six. They're gonna play an ancient tomb. They're gonna top Chandra. Exiling Magus of the Moon. 
which I think is actually a benefit for us. It turns our range into a mountain, which is like fine. Thoughts on Mux and Legacy? It's our first game playing it. We're figuring it out right now. Yeah, I got to figure out how I want the Magic Online overlay to look. Usually it's in the window on my smaller overlay. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to figure it out. Got to make some cool overlays. Got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. All right. Who's ready for our first big Mux? And a Chrome Mux. Doesn't really matter. Hey, a big mux, please. Why is it not doing it? Oh, all my keybinds aren't set up properly. All right. New computer. War chief, war chief, prospector, matron. No chain whirler in the main, right? No. Um. Trinisphere kind of removes our ability to like combo kill them, but that was our only gem bomb too. All right, whatever. Just get another. Should I have two wards? I can just cast the. I can cast a Krenko for three, um, and then make a like five tokens and cast a Chieftain too. All right, so we can go. We can't cast the thing. We can go announce this. Sack Matron, Sack Matron, Sack Ringleader, cast Krenko, make five tokens, Sack Token, Sack Token, Sack Token, Chieftain, and then uh, move to combat. They're at 20. I think I would like to kill Chandra. Cause it's just like it's just a draw for them. Attack Chandra, attack Chandra, attack them. Um, they would need to double chump to shave save Chandra, which they're not gonna do, I don't think. These two will attack them. I guess Prospector can attack them too. We don't really need the Prospector, I don't think. So and then the Chieftain will stay home. That's an easy, an easy block on Mogwar Marshall, so or on whatever Prospector. Moxus becomes a 12-12. Trinisphere overrides everything. Everything. If anything would make anything cost less than three, Trinisphere says nope. So, Warchief reducing costs, Affinity. Um, you can delve through a Trinisphere uh, because you're still paying the cost, but nothing else will reduce it. So, they double chump, they go to two. I, I, I said I would have just killed them, actually. I just didn't do the math. Well, they, they could have they chumped the, uh, the Mux. Why do they chump these two and not chump Mux? They blocked both Warchies and didn't block the Muxes? Why would they do that? Oh my god, they're top cards in the steering bridge. Um, can we win? We can't win. We have no Pashik Mons, no way to kill in Snaring Bridge. That's so sick. All right, well, I'm sorry. They have a card in hand. We're good. Never mind. We're fine. They still have a card in their hand. They can't play. So we're, we're good. They have, so they have one card now. We just sacked the Chieftain. I thought they were they, they could play the last card. They can't. So, whoo, boy. That's, uh, that was almost terrifying. Also, they can cast the card in their hand, which would be awful. But... All right. Oh, that was close. That was close. No, again, this deck is very focused. Usually, Goblin decks have a lot of toolboxes and card drawing and things like that. But this deck is very, very focused on only doing only one thing, so we're not playing many cute one ofs. We get to bring in Crater Maker and Trash Master, which is great. Uh, but, whoo, boy. That was, uh, that was a little scary. So. We're gonna, let's see here. What can they do to us? They could have like mass removal of some kind maybe, but I kinda wanna cut like two prospectors. Uh, it's bad against Chalice, bad against mass removal. 
bring the crater maker, bring the trash master. They could have like, you know, they have like fiery confluence, anger the gods, things like that. But we can definitely play around that pretty well, I think. Don't need much here. Don't need much. I felt a little desperate. We could bring in pyrokinesis, but... I love playing goblins against these mono red prison decks. They're just like, Blood Moon, Chalice the Void, and you're like... <laughs> Alright. Uh, turn one double lackey, huh? Yes, yeah, so we don't have much to put in off of it. Do I think Waron Instigator is too good for standard? No. I think Waron Instigator would be unplayable in standard. There aren't enough good goblins, and the card isn't very good. I should say the draw is just terrible. All right, um, they keep, I don't have the chat open. Oh, whoops. They keep seven. Yeah, I gotta figure out a cool, ah, my neck. Figure out a cool way to uh, set this up. They keep seven. I'm gonna keep. Let's go double, uh, double lackey on one. Force him to have like an anger or something like that. You know, like volcanic fallout. It's a number of pyroclasmy cards, but ancient tomb. I guess chalice on one would be annoying here, but chalice on one is like typically not good against us. We only have six one drops in our deck anyway, and then we have four Caverner Souls, which allow you to cast things through Chalice. All right, let's do this. Not as threatening as it seems, because obviously our hand isn't very good, but could I pop out the dialogue and put it on another screen? Maybe I can actually. I can actually I can put it over here. That's kind of cool. Good idea. They play their own Chrome Mox. All right. We get in fire. If they have Fiery Confluence here to kill my stuff and my Chrome Mox, that would be terrible. Antarctica, I, I review my matches. Um, uh, I reviewed them before this before this, this league. Look for it on YouTube. I go over all my cash matches yesterday. All right. So they plus Karn. Which is hilarious because now we get to kill other oh, sorry they, they killed my chrome mox. That's terrible. Uh, uh, so close. Alright. Well they put a war boss under here. We're we're probably just totally screwed here. Um They can get whatever they want. They get an ensnaring bridge, we're kinda screwed, so Wellborn, month number two, most important month. Thanks for seven, appreciate that. Yeah, we're just super dead here. Yeah, turn to Stone Rain you, put a Planeswalker into play on the play is uh, pretty gross. Chrome Mox, a number two. I should get like Worm Coil and Cast or something, right? I feel like maybe we can beat that, honestly. Probably not, though. Probably not. And snaring bridge, just going for the bridge. All right. I mean, that's bad for us. They only have, they have one card in hand, obviously. We have ways to kill it. We draw a goblin trash master right about now. Not quite. Not quite. Um. Probably just bad, but so we need to draw Trash Master or Crater Maker off the top. Matron won't do it. Um, we have five mana, so they're looking again. Now what? Mycosynth Lattice. Oh, right. Yeah, that card's still legal in Legacy, isn't it? All right. Well, that's enough for that game. Uh, turn two Karn on the play. Pretty good. Um, yeah. game three on the play. Going first. Um, 
Yeah, it's not going to play, unfortunately. If it's had a lot, had a lucky, it'd be great, but it doesn't really uh, do too much to come along in this hand. Uh, yeah, this hand is, uh, is where it's at. Keep this. Let me just ship the Prospector. I guess Prospector's like, we need to keep the Prospector and ship, ship, the, ship like the Matron. Let's try and keep, uh, you know, I can't cast Warchief, which is kind of awkward, but I'm going to ship the Matron. They got to have Stomp here on turn one. I think Stomp is their one way to kill our Lackey. So here we go. Go get him, buddy. Hold. Oh my god, they have turn one Chandra? Oh my god. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Oh no. I like this. Alright. I have three cards left too. What's up Zoe? Appreciate you hanging out. Thanks so much. Turn one, Chandra. Oh boy. We draw an Ancient Tomb, we can cast Muxus next turn. That'd be cool. Plus Chandra revealing Chandra Awakened in Inferno. Not quite. Not quite. Trinosphere. That's could be worse. It might actually be okay here, honestly. I'd love to draw a red source and not sack this prospector, but what's up, Jones? Thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. Alright. Want to draw one basic mountain. Bingo. Let's go. Pay in three. Killing Chandra, and now they got two cards left, and hopefully not much else going on. On tap, we get to mux them. Although we didn't draw the card that I wanted. All right, I said I wanted a basic mountain. We drew snow covered mountain. So, you know, tap three, Magus of the Moon. That's fine. We can still cast mux next turn, right? One, two, three, four. I mean, Draw Chromox. That costs three. Why does Chromox cost three? So Mux costs five. We could just sack our entire board and cast Mux. Um, yeah, I mean that, that's the whole point of the deck, right? We just, just do it. Um, so one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Mux Daddy's home. Oh. <laughs> Hello. So they block with Magus the Moon, they take uh, seven. Eight, nine, ten, twenty damage. You dead. Game. Blouses. One and oh, Turbo Mux. It is pretty silly. They printed a six mana card that literally just says you win the game on it. But hey, turn one, Chandra, taste it. Turn one, Chandra, taste it. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, watch on YouTube. Make sure you follow on there. Let me know your thoughts on this deck in the comments. You have a squirrel. Look, look at the squirrel. You see him? He's there. He hangs out. Their garden is right there. You see him? And uh, John and Nicole's garden, so the squirrels tend to hang out there. He's coming closer. What do you want, man? He's creeping. He's creeping. But um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, sponsors. Check out Colas Apparel. Colas Apparel.shop. Uh, super awesome shirts. Super comfortable. Super nice designs. 
Uh, again, the slides aren't up yet. I haven't uploaded the up, I haven't made my overlay yet. But call us apparel.shop, promo code Jim10. Awesome new shirts. Mana screw, mana flood shirts, pile driver shirt. Check it out. Call us apparel.shop, promo code Jim10. Also check out bcwsupplies.com. BCW Supplies, number one source for your game supply needs. Get your sleeves, get your deck boxes, your binders, card sorting trays, you name it. BCWsupplies.com has it. I'll share Cardboard Live. The overlay is on screen right now with the deck list on it. That's Cardboard Live. If you're a streamer, you got to use Cardboard Live. End of story. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, boy. What is this? Oh, my God. I don't have a sound effect. I I don't even have a sound effect for this. Oh boy! All right, I will do a reaction to this after uh, Mog Monday. Um, we'll get that up on YouTube as soon as possible. Holy shit is correct. Um, yeah, when uh ah oh, crap, I missed the match. We'll do a reaction on this uh, as soon as Mog Monday is over. Um, we'll get that on YouTube ASAP. Oh, this is everything you're supposed to do. They did it. They did it. I'm so happy. All right, great. That's great. That's great. I don't know what's going on, but all right. Um, we are on the draw, and our hand's pretty mopey. This hand's way too fair for uh, for Legacy. Maybe on the play and have a gem bomb. This hand feels more like a regular Goblin's hand, where you have a Marlboro Marshal, you gem bomb and kill some stuff. We're not a regular Goblin's deck. We're a Turbo Muxus deck, so we're going to mulligan this hand. That is a little more turbo-y. Uh, we're going to keep this one. Ship a Chrome Mox. And let's see. Did Magic just become playable again? <laughs> oh, boy. Snow-covered forest. I feel like that's a fake link. Was it, was it fake? No, that's a, that's a weird link. That's, that's real. Came out five days early. That is magic.wizards.com. Oh boy. Green sun for one. Let's go. Damn. That is, yeah, I, I wanted to stop Mod Monday and just do that. And Zoe, resub. Thanks so much. Uh, I kind of wanted to stop Mod Monday and, and do my reaction video for that right now, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. All right. Um, Ancient Tomb. We can like Matron here. I don't know what we want though. We don't, we don't have like a chain world or anything in our main deck. Sharpshooter, et cetera, et cetera. Man. Uh, let's see what we got here. Might should be gem bomb, honestly. We already have the big mux, obviously. Yeah, I think it's gem bomb. Just buy a little time. Oh, boy. Prospectors turn two mux. No, right? Oh, man, they should kill me. Boo! Elves versus goblins. Oh my god, the green screen's broken. I gotta get the right lighting, folks. I'm really sorry. We we gotta... I have a lot of work to do today. I got a lot of stuff to buy off of Amazon. Oh my god, they have everything. Wanna see my cool power driver sign? While we're waiting? Pretty cool. That's gonna hang on the front of my office. Um, and change colors. You see what I'm... When I'm normally it'll be like that, but when we're when we're live on stream it'll be green, and then when we're recording, don't come in. It's gonna be red. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, we're still going. That's great. I'm here to make an announcement. What's your announcement, Toots? It's an announcement about an announcement. Hold on, hold on. Leave. Do that again. We gotta entertain the stream while we get an elf combo on turn two. You good? Yep. Okay. I'm here to make an announcement. Hey, Toots. Can I make my announcement now? What's your announcement? It's an announcement. I'm making an announcement about the announcement I'm going to make, about the announcement that Wizards made, about the announcement that they're going to make. 
you follow? Do you follow me? No, what's up? <laughs> what's... You should follow me on Twitter at Lady of the Crease. <laughs> what's your announcement of the announcement? Apparently, there is going to be a banned and restricted announcement on August 8th. Announcing changes to Brawl, Pioneer, Historic, and Standard. I mean, the announcement just came out like literally right now. They banned everything. This announcement right here. What? Why are you so behind the times? <gasps> I had no idea. Yeah. Wait, why isn't it that announcement that you said third? This yeah. Is August 8th. Well, that's in the future. We're in the present. This is the now. Oh, well, this is August 8th banned and restricted. So, <gasps> what happened? I just woke up. So yeah, clearly you also ruined my green screen. To the very end, wilderness reclamation. Why is the green screen so screwed? Gone up? forever. Why are you ruining everything? <gasps> yeah, I got I got to do my reaction video. Right now. I have to wait till my Monday's over. Can I be in it? No. But I'm excited. Go away. Can I watch uh, you do it? Can I like stand like right there? What is and going on with the screen screen? Stare at you while you do it. I probably ruined it. Look. Yep, perfect. Nope, it's broken again. So the, the lighting here isn't, pro isn't, isn't proper. I'm just going to see this game. It's stupid. I don't know what we're doing here. We got, we got, we got stuff. I got, I got a Ranger game to watch. I got a reaction video to make. All right, so um, bring in Power Kinesis. Bring in Chalice too, right? Chalice seems great against them. Yeah, I, I know, Marty. I just haven't uh, I haven't gotten a chance to buy, buy any lights. Hi, Marty. Hi, everybody. I didn't even look at chat. I am still like half awake, but I just woke up to that and I got really excited. All right, so we got to cut. Um, what do we cut? We have a lot of cards to cut here. 19 lands. Get some ringleaders, I guess. And then cut, like, maybe, like, some Warchief effects. It's not going to kill my Warchiefs ever. And then cut, I guess, Wear Instigator is also never going to get in, so. Do something like this seems reasonable. Oh, boy. Yeah, I, 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 it's funny. I just want to stop by Monday and just do our reaction video on that. But let's, uh, let's hear. Uh, so yeah, um, I think this is fine. Let's try this. Let's try this. I just got some prospectors for bringing in the chalice. But we also want to cast Mux as soon as possible. So, all right. So they turned two to us, which sucks. We have a kind of slow Muxus here. We're going to mulligan this end. It's not good enough. Um, this is better. I mean, it's not great, but it has Power Kinesis, which is really, really good. So uh, we're going to keep this. Shift Crow Mox. E. Wooster, new sub. What's your name? Welcome, my friend. Thanks so much. I would say we don't cast Skirt Prospector. That is my... Assumption we keep it for Pyrokinesis. Or we keep it for Chromox. Yeah, Pyrokinesis is obviously pretty sweet against Elves. We're a little short on resources here. Once upon a time. Man, the green screen is really screwed up. Great. Good TV. Good quality. Wow. Let's stand. We're going up. Upkeep. All right, let's go. Power Kinesis is number two. That's actually pretty good. It's just a red card for, for um, a red card for uh, anything basically. So we just probably like pop the Prospector here and Matron for Mox. We're so far from casting Muxus though. Get ringleader, I guess. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna get the one ringleader. We need to reload after a power cases too, so we'll just chill. We have uh, the ability to sentinel. So much work to do. It's really hard to like keep streaming and working while also working on the house while also trying to like get things done, you know? It's tough. 
tough. Nothing ever works. Just another Mug Monday. Tap for Mana Fun Day. All right, so they play Nettle Sentinel. I mean, uh, play Wirewood Symbiote. I saw a bad announcement. We're doing a reaction video after this Mog Monday. We're going to attack. That's fine. If Power Kinesis is now, they'll be able to bounce one of them with the Symbiote, so we should probably chill. Gaze Cradle? Oh my god. Cast once upon a time. It's fine. Yeah, the green screen's having some issues, I know. I We're not fully set up yet, folks. I am... Just stream Mog Monday because I'm not, I gotta stream Mog Monday. We don't have everything set up properly yet, as you can clearly see. I will try and fix it again. Just not working right. Allosaurus Shepherd. Can't be countered. Green spells can't be countered. This is the anti Chalice of the Void card. All right. I don't really see a reason to cast uh, Power Kinesis because it won't kill. Something will live. I don't really like. Is there a land? No. Mm, all right. Let's just say go. We're going to pitch the Lackey to a Power Kinesis. Try and save the second Power Kinesis to work too. Also, the light from the outside that's kind of ruining things, too. There we go. That sort of works. Alrighty then. I can't believe standard, they just freaking. I just want to talk about it. Alright, let's go. They have Cradle for a million now, but we have double power kinesis. And again, if we if we if we were to power kinesis before they untapped, they get to the bounce a thing with uh with uh, Symbiote anyway, so. Um, okay, that's kind of weird. Yeah, the, the lighting is not proper in here, so. I didn't read this card, did I? Oh, it's actually pretty sick, because now we can just, uh, so I'm going to turn each elf creature you control against a 5-5. Five five. That doesn't make this thing bigger. I think they're getting blown out here. Boom, shakalaka. Bingo. All right. So they can bounce one thing and save it with Symbiote. Then we trade here, too. We got to draw land, though. We got to draw land. So they bounce their mana thingy. Nothing happens there. That dies. That wasn't a bad turn. We draw a land here, please. God, let's go. Let's go. Grab a ringleader. Do it. Oh, daddy's home. Let's go. Can I have an ancient gem too, please? Go get him, buddy. Amenities? Dryad Arbor. Yeah, sure. I got more power cases where that came from, my friend. What's up, Seth? How's it going, my friend? Happy to have you. Oh, don't play Plague Engineer. I swear to God, you play Plague Engineer on me. It's Mog Monday. So guess. All right. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. We draw land. We're one off playing uh, the old Mux Daddy here. I think we're just going to play Chieftain. We have Chain Whirler in our deck, too. We can't cast it yet, obviously. I kind of like that, actually. If we just, like, get Chain Whirler, if we miss a land next turn on Muxus, we just cast Chain Whirler. If we don't miss, we just cast a... 
Did it card? Effective today, Plague Engineer is banned on Mondays. <laughs> I agree. You have three cards left. Just another mug Monday. One whirly boy. The standing desk is great. Um, it's funny because I, as I was saying earlier, I have really bad posture, which is part of the reason why I spent a lot of money. Abrupt decay on my Chrome Mox. That's kind of rude. That's why I spent a lot of money on like a really nice chair and a really nice desk. Uh, it's funny though, because now that I'm standing up straight and sitting up straight every day, my back really hurts. Because <laughs> my back isn't used to actually just like sitting and standing the correct way. It's going to be like probably a month of like training my back to, to go the right way and stuff, but it's definitely really cool. I like it a lot. Honestly, I'm going to, we're still working on my setup. I think I'm going to get a, a headset microphone so I can actually just like stand around and move around and stuff. Cause obviously when I'm back here, I imagine it doesn't sound nearly, nearly as good. All you hear is kind of echoey, like distant stuff. And I want to be able to kind of move around a lot cause it's really, really fun. So I'm probably going to get a headset, micro, headset microphone. I got an uplift desk. No pain, no gain. Yep. So they killed my Chrome box, so I'm a little further from muxing, but I still just have Chain Whirler. If I'm back here, it's very echoey, and you don't hear it very well and stuff. And the headset mic, which might be a better idea, a lapel mic. There was a frail serum dripping off his lap dance lapel, punctuated by something. Anyone? Anyone? Oh boy. Heritage Druid, sure. Um. Yeah, I'll probably just get a, a thing. A lapel mic's a little like a little like thingy mic. Now I'm free to do activities. Exactly. I, I really enjoy standing up, moving around. It's fun. Alsor Shepherd, sure. They can tap for a decent amount here. Well, they're gonna so they're gonna we're gonna chain whirler. They're gonna shepherd, and we're gonna kill them. Kill them with the thingy. So that's pretty great. So yeah, I'm working on getting. I gotta get a headset mic. I get a new camera. I'm gonna get a Sony camera. It has a wider field of range. It's a nicer thing too. So uh, looking forward to that. Lots of upgrades. I have a lot of shopping to do today. Yeah, we saw the banner. We saw the banner check announcement. We're gonna do that after this league, which I'm like itching to do. So we gotta we gotta win here. No one got my frail frail serum dripping off the lap dance lapel. Um, reference. Someone usually always gets the references too. Activate that. So we're going to pop off one, two, three, four. We're going to ship the, uh, probably the Chieftain. So we can just crank out next turn. I guess we could have just like ship the Muxus, honestly. Might have been better. All right. That was pretty cool. Unsurprisingly, Pyrokinesis, a very good card against an elf deck. Our chalices look good too, so. Cassandra Gemini. I believe that's the name of the song, right? The Mars Volta. I like it. Mars Volta's sweet. It's like a sweet. The card Mox is just so silly, you know? The table's a little wobbly when it's at, like, it's, it's at its full height. Pizza Beats. Thanks for following. Appreciate that. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow in there. Welcome. Lackey Pyrokinesis Matron. Um, this sounds good. We have Pyro to push through the, uh, the Lackey, maybe. We have, to, we have to draw a red card, but we can keep this. Moxus is too strong. I, I kind of agree with you, honestly. Um, like, it shouldn't have the pile driver ability where it gets bigger when it attacks. It shouldn't be an instant kill, you know, most of the time. Ban updates. I'm gonna do an update announcement soon. Yeah, maybe I'll make a I'll make a uh, a, a little text for that because everyone's gonna keep asking me over and over and over again. Cool? Cool. Draw step. Prospector. 
Um, okay. So now we have a card for pyrokinesis. You gotta like get through twice if we're gonna mux though. My overlay skill is impressive, yeah, I know. Heritage Druid, you got it. Allosaur Shepherd, you got it. So now they play another. Oh my god, who's ready for this? Can I get some hype in chat, please? Make a little noise here. Very nice. All right, so uh, let's put in our matron. The question is, what are we going to get here? Like, we get mucks, but there's no guarantee that our lackey even gets through next turn. Um, huh. We should get Chain Whirler. We also just get Incinerator and just like kill their next play and have two shots at a good goblin next turn. I think I just like gem, I like gem bomb here. There's only have three cards left. Let's get gem bomb, which play a land. Let's say go. Obviously, we don't have a thing to put in with off a lackey yet. But we just draw like any, like literally any goblin off two draws. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, uh, there's a goblin on my shirt. Yes, I'm wearing a shirt with some green on it. Right. All right. So here we go. Big draw step. Can we find the old Mux Daddy? How good is Pyrokinesis, right? That's a prospector. And like a boss. Pretty good. Pretty good. Thoughts on double masters? Uh, whatever. It's not really. I mean, I'll, I want to draft it at some point. I haven't gotten around to it. They've got three cards in end. And they've got a Zenith for one. Playing Prospector better than holding it in case I draw Power Cases. Well, now I can just sack for red and cast. You, you can just hard cast Power Cases. It costs, it costs six. And with Krenko making a bunch of tokens for Prospector, we have infinite mana, basically. So, Nettle Sentinel. Chalice of the Void. That's pretty gross. All right, so we're just going to make some tokens here and just play Chalice, and they probably can't do much more, so. You're up. You. Oh, yeah. Okay. Take that, elves. Blast. Elves versus goblins. The eternal struggle. After it was all over, he took us in the house to serve his pancake. <sighs> Let's go. Oh my god, there's a hole in my chest. Discuss ban announcement. I will. I will. We gotta finish the we gotta finish the league, alright? I gotta record we're recording the video for, for YouTube. It's Mod Monday. We gotta finish Pod Monday. Pokemoki. I saw their name on the uh, trophy leaderboard. Let's get him. This ends terrible. It's better, I guess. Ship, uh, I guess mountain. It's pretty bad, honestly, but. Hashtag soon. This, this is not a typical goblin deck, all right? We're normally goblin decks are predicated on Aether Vial, Gem Palm Incinerator, uh, Wasteland, Rashad and Port, etc., etc. Um, we're just trying to cast Muxus as soon as possible. Because it's just like a busted magic card. So, nude, thanks for following. I hope you're nude right now. I'm not wearing any pants. So, uh... come on, Pokemoki. We're 2 0. 
Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have the the Dex record and on the overlay as someone suggested on YouTube. I just haven't gotten to that yet. What's up a split of snow and non-snow mountains? So for style points, the problem is that like, so I used to play snow covered mountains all the time, no matter what. That was just what I did. Um, but when Arkham's Astrolabe came out, it became correct to only play snow covered mountains. But strategically, if you're playing like, you know, 10 basic lands in your deck, you just split them between half snow and half not snow. Because if your opponent is playing the card predict, they can target you and name mountain. So you're you're giving up like the tiniest of percentage point by playing all snow covered or all regular mountains. And that is the reason why. Alright, ponder, instigator, okay. Probably just like we can't ever like force this card in, you know? They're ponder shuffled too, that's pretty good. Instigator hit? Ponder? Folks, raise your hand in chat. Aww. Aww. That's the wrong aww. That's like a, a cutesy aww, not a like aww. I was going to say raise your hand in chat if you've ever... Just raise your hand in chat. Just just do it. Forget the rest of that sentence. Just raise your hand in chat. I was going to ask if you've, if you've ever triggered a war instigator before. All right, so they're probably playing a Delver deck. I was going to bring in the Chalices. Let's cut, like, some Prospectors, I guess. Because we're also not going to, like, stack our entire board to cast a Muxus into Force if we don't have a Cavern of Souls. Um, we really want Pyroblast to throw a combo deck, I would think. Which they're probably not. Um, I kind of hate Crater Maker. Okay, maybe I've got to kill a Delver or something like that. I'm going to shave an Instigator. We're on the draw. Which doesn't seem particularly great. Let's shave, like, maybe a Warchief effect. We could shave a Muxus, honestly, if they're like a Daze deck. We don't know much. Tropical Island Ponder Ponder is not a ton to go on. I don't want Pyroblast. I know they're a combo deck. You don't want this card against against fair decks. We're also bringing in Chalice, so it's pretty uh, pretty not cool. Um, what kind of ringleader? That's Sacrilege. This could be a fair matchup. Mm. I got a chieftain. I think I want the ringleaders if they're a fair deck, you know? We're not really sure yet, but... Chalice of Zevoid. I'm gonna keep this. They can daze us, but... Shave a Cranko? I could, but... Preordain. So that leans me towards them being a combo deck a little more. They bottom bottom, which is great. Do we just fire off Chalice here, or do we, uh... Yeah, just do it, right? We could, like, play around days by waiting a turn, but... Just do it. Got it. Got it! You got it. Volcanic Island, Tropical Island. I don't even know what I would matron for here, honestly. Drew, resub, three months. Thanks so much, appreciate that. Um, play War Marshal. We have, you know, two lords in our hand, or I guess one lord and a war chief, so, like, we draw a, uh, if we draw a red source, we can cast that. You have major for gem palm. I'm not even sure they're, I'm not convinced they're, they're playing, oh my god, they have main deck of breed. I guess that, I guess that could be sideboard, but they have a braids. So they're probably a Delver deck, I would assume. Maybe, maybe not. We beat them too fast in game one. Priority. Right. Definitely want to draw a uh, a wasteland. Oh my god. Right. We are definitely much more vulnerable to wasteland than a normal goblin deck is, with no aether vials in our deck. So we're probably in trouble here, honestly. There's so many mana. Alright, well, that's a land. Attack for one, I guess. What's up, King? Let's draw... Oh my god. Brainstorm, 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 ponder, brainstorm, ponder, brainstorm, ponder, brainstorm, ponder. 
Waka waka. Snow Cover Island, Arkham's Astrolabe. Okay. So there you go. Land? No. Gross. What the heck plays Astrolabe and Wasteland? Downright, thanks to the resub. Appreciate that 10 months. Content gym. We're at 599 subscribers. Y'all great. Thank you. Obviously been losing subs. So, oh, good. Euro. I came here to, to get away from playing Euro. If I want to play Euro, I play Standard, right? All right. Well, it looks like we're probably dead. Oh, you're at land. They have four cards in hand still. Jeez. We're at War Chief. Snow covered forest. All right. So Euro is a. Uh, you cannot escape. Oh, I'm sorry. I said you cannot escape Euro. <laughs> Teamer 2020. All right. I mean, how many power drivers in our deck either? It's like play War Chief Lackey. Play War Chief Matron, I guess. Yeah, there certainly is no escaping Euro. Sorry, I gotta get used to my soundboard. <laughs> um, let's get Mux, I guess. And I doubt it's gonna resolve, but... Exciting I'm just gonna go here. Attacks aren't very good. Expert, I totally agree. Thanks to Reset, appreciate that. Rough? That's rough. Yeah, we're super dead here. Oh, we're just gonna go to the next game. Right? I think it's maybe, maybe we can keep playing. They have six cards in there. I'm just gonna go to the next game. I'm, I'm not wasting my time here. Whatever. We got we got a we got a I got a Ranger game to watch. We got um we got a a banner announcement to, to, to go over. Alright, instigator back in on the play. Let's cut Crater Maker because now they're, we realize they're more of a fair deck. Do I want Pyroblast? I don't think I do. I know it can kill a Euro, but it just like we have Chalice anyway. I guess killing Euros like ugh, Euros is just a stupid card. Um, I never should do it. Just go. Rangers and Hurricanes. Game one was tough. Rangers did not play very well in game one. Honestly, they played well in period two and three, but not in the first period. Ugh, this hand's so bad. We're 2-0 and so far. Game three, round three. We got a mulligan in this hand. This hand's freaking terrible. Too many, too many lords, you know? I should have boarded some out. This is pretty good. Um, it's funny. I think we're going to... Let's see. Let's keep this... I kind of want to ship the Chrome Mox. We could ship like a, a Marshall, I guess, and just like kind of go all in. Yeah, I guess we're going to do that. They have to answer a Lackey, too, so. What's up, Cannon? The mix of regular and snow mountains. It is not aesthetically pleasing, but it is technically correct because if your opponent is playing the card Predict, and you're playing 14 of the same basic in your deck, they can predict you and have good odds of drawing two cards. So you want to split your lands if possible. All right, I mean, I imagine they have a bolt here because they didn't do, they didn't get, they didn't cast a ponder or anything. Oh my God. Wow, wow, wow. Bingo. All right. Let's put in our ringleader. Am I going to stifle me? Huh. People play stifle on their Euro decks? 
okay, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess, sure. All right, so what, uh, now what? I mean, we obviously could like matron for mucks, but like, we don't know if this is gonna hit or not. I just wanna play this Mar Marshall, I guess. They have rough and tumble or something like that. We're probably in huge trouble. Oh, you could stifle your Euro trigger? Yeah, I guess. That's kind of silly. But. We can't major for Mux on the attack. We'll see what they do. It's funny though, because if you matron for Mux, you don't like get to attack with those goblins and kill them that turn. Let's see. They brainstorm. Scalding Tarn. Saying go. I might just echo here, honestly. I'm just gonna echo. I'm trying to play around like a mash removal spell. I think getting in for five and getting like the lackey's like probably not gonna hit. They already brainstormed too, so I'm just like get in here. That figures. I just love I just love Panda Cross and Magor Marshall. Just love it. Alright, yeah, so our lackey's lackey's gonna die here. We obviously drew a uh, a good two drop we could have cast, but like we didn't know we were gonna draw that. You know, most of the time we're not drawing this, so I think I like my uh, my echo play regardless. Waren instigator. Waren. Dreadhorde Arcanist. And Wasteland. Oh, it's like it's so vulnerable to Wasteland. It's kind of unreal. Oh, man. All right. Don't daze me. Breh. So now I get to untap... They can like attack with Arcanist and bolt my instigator, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty bad. This deck definitely seems a lot worse against Fair Decks. We're just going for the block. We're just going for it. If they got it, they got it. Blow me out. Definitely seems like this deck is much worse against fair decks. We just like are trying to go all in. Whereas normally goblin decks are pretty good against these fair decks. You're playing Aether Vile, you get gem palms, you can kind of grind and stuff, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're dead. All right. Green. They can like cast brainstorm, yeah, whatever. I'm playing Euro in this. I'm playing Delvers too. Like, what? What is this deck? I haven't played Legacy in like a really long time, so I don't know. I don't know what's good in Legacy anymore. I just don't really care about Legacy anymore. All right, I cast Red Horde, play brainstorm for free. Can't cast the Braid. It only has one power. Four cards in hand. Shuffle up with a brainstorm. Get some basics. They're going to wilt my chrome box. Are you serious? All right. I should get a lackey. All right. If our lackey hits, we'll keep playing. If they kill my lackey, I'm going to concede. So... Wow, really? Oh, they're stifling. <laughs> okay, I guess. Stifle? Wilt? A braid? What are you gonna get here? Cast that stifle. Cast it. Do it. You can't. You won't. Coward. 
Coward. Is our lackey? They guess they have my lackey again. That'd be really cool. Now they have Ice Fan. I don't play anymore. All right, that's fine. Just deck team seems much worse against Fair decks for sure. Two and one, two and one. Um, without Aether Vial, we just seem so much worse against the Fair decks. Um, we're much worse against Wasteland, and we're just like when you're playing Chrome Mox, you're much more reliant on just like here's my thing, and if they have a counter spell or some way to stop it, you kind of get screwed. Uh, so that, that's a little tough. Obviously, the Chalices are kind of nice, but they had plenty of answers for Chalice too. So. No space, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. That's 600 subscribers. Give yourselves a hand. I don't know why I'm dying. You should usually die. You're all great. Uh, thank you. Appreciate that. Thanks so much. Just another mug Monday. And yes, we'll be going over the ban list after this league, folks. It's literally written on the screen. I know reading comprehension is tough for all you Twitch chatters out there, but it's there. We're going to go over it. Two matches left. It'll be up on YouTube if you miss it. All right. All new subs on Discord. Yes. Unclear how much better Vile will be against the Abrade deck. Well, when they when they Abrade your Chrome Mox, you get two for one. When they Abrade your Vile, it's only a one for one. Not that bad. So, reading is pretty hard. You know, reading is pretty hard. If you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button. Of course, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow in there. If you're watching on YouTube, please let me know in the content, the comments, what you think about this deck. My good looks. What do you think? Like, comment, subscribe on YouTube. Thanks so much. Check out the sponsors. Follow me on Twitter. Do a little Twitter bump while we're waiting here. Give me a follow on Twitter. And if you missed it, I had a really good day yesterday. That's my cool new sign. That's pretty cool. And uh, if you missed it, yesterday, yesterday I won the Gen Con Standard Championship. And I won $1,000 playing Rakdos Goblins. And I actually went over my, my money matches um, when the stream started. All three matches I played for money. Uh, in that tournament yesterday. And that video will also go up on YouTube probably tomorrow. So look for that as well. We're on the draw. Um, our hand's kind of moby, but we're going to keep it. It's like fine. It's not like great. Uh, ponder again. Imagine if they banned Brainstorm and Ponder. How cool that would be. It's a cool sign, right? That sign's gonna go on the front door of my office. But we gotta paint the hallways first. Mux Daddy. Mux Daddy. All right. This is not a Goblin deck. All right. This is a Turbo Muxus deck in Legacy. That's what we're doing. Two and one so far. Um, I know Caleb. This is Caleb's list. He's been playing uh, this a lot lately and doing pretty well. Oh, there's, there's a ban announcement. Don't you worry. We'll get to that. We will get to that. All right. So we're going to play Warren Instigator, and it's probably never going to get through because that's what Warren Instigator does. All right. You're up. They got a batter skull. Yes. An artless batter skull. Ponder again. Sure. Um, let's draw Cavern of Souls. Can we do that? Is that possible? Check. Resub, seven months. It's Thanks so much. Just another Mog Monday. Chroma key is totally off. Yes. I don't have proper lighting in here. I, all I have are the lights in the office and the, the window right there. It needs to be covered. So we're getting there. I'm still working on the office. Still a work in progress. We're not there yet. All right. Ponder say go. Didn't draw. Did not draw our, uh, Cavern Souls, you're looking for? King, resub, two months, most important month. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Uh, we have like a gem palm in our deck. We can gem palm the batter skull, maybe. Legend, new sub. What's your name? Wait from. Thanks so much. Appreciate it, everyone. You're all awesome. Um, I guess we matron. Camera quality, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a new camera. This camera's fine, but I want to get a, a wider field camera. It's a little more high quality. I, I got to order a new camera today. I got to order, uh, I got to get blinds. You got to get lighting. I have a lot, a lot of work to do um, this week as far as setting my office up goes. So I'm just going to get Gem Palm. What's up, Stu? Yes, the new chair is nice. It's funny, Stu. 
I don't know if you experienced this. Um, my back's been hurting because I now have my nice new chair. It has me sitting in my proper posture. I have my standing desk. I'm currently standing right now. But all this proper posture, my back is not used to it. My back is used to the terrible posture I've had for years. So it hurts. And it needs to like get worked into place basically. I don't know if anyone else has experienced that or not. Let me know if you have. But stretching, I could do that. Just like stretch in the morning. I got to work out more. I'm real, I'm real, real out of shape. I actually played tennis on Saturday. I had my first ever COVID friend hangout since COVID started. Me and my buddy uh, Bimo, his girlfriend, and Nicole played tennis. Socially distanced, of course. Never got within like six feet of each other. And that was a lot of fun. My first exercise I've gotten in a while. Cavernous soul is off the top. No. Um... I mean, like, if we, if we instigate our gem bomb, they can just kill something and then our gem bomb doesn't work anymore, which is kind of bad. I guess we have a double strike. That's kind of cool. Here, just like say go. Yeah, um, this is Caleb's list, yes. This up is Sean from the UK, Planks 95. Yeah, I got Will take card. It's awesome. Dart, what was your solution? All right, so we just say go here. Um, if they attack... We can just block the batter skull with both of our first strikers and then gem palm it. Oh my god. Don't you dare sort of fire and ice me. Don't you do it. All right. That's not as bad. It's pretty bad though. Not good. I could have gone for the gem palm in response, but it's like not likely to work. So. Hmm. We can't let it hit us. Um, I guess we'll... Nah. You gave up. Sable. I guess we're just going to block with Matron and kind of just... We can just like gem bomb the Stoneforge, I guess. We're pretty far off actually killing this thing. It's, we're going to block Sack. Yes, I know, I know that part. I'm just going to... Let's cycle gem bomb first. Just kill this Stoneforge Mystic, I guess. Again, we can't risk blocking and then gem bombing that because if they have a way to stop our double block, we get blown out. So if we go for the, if we if we double block and cycle and they have a, if a path exile or swords or whatever, we lose everything. So obviously, I haven't played Legacy in a while because I'm saying path, not swords. Draw Prospector. Okay. Sacks, they don't gain life. We can mux next turn. We could like rain leader and then mux the turn after. Cavern souls. Oh, well, now I have two mux. They only have a counter spell though. Let's we'll just play the the ring leader. Yeah, tennis is definitely one of the safest sports right now. Totally agree. Tennis and golf. I might bring we might bring John to play golf. Ring leader. Come on! This is Mog Monday, not Whiff Wednesday. Alright, you're up. I mean, where should I cast Mox next turn, you know? They didn't even flinch at the ringleader. Esports safest, that's true. See, they had the swords, so. Would have gotten blown out. So we're just gonna run back to back muxes and hope it's good enough, basically. Gonna block with the ringleader. Where they really have a prospect of a 2 2, so. Alright, big money, here we go. They have four cards in hand, they can hard cast force if they want it right now. No. They're going to play a standstill. What year is it? What year is it? I wish I had more gem bombs. All right. Well, we're going to break the standstill. Do I want to use Ancient Gym Matter? No. I don't think so. All right. Draw your cards. Oh, it's Shark still. 
Sure. Normally, Goblin decks are insane against Sandstill with Aether Vial and Gem Bombs and stuff. Um, I played a GP once in Chicago. Legacy GP. In the last round, I am X2 and 1. I think I'm playing for top 8. Play against a standstill player and get them to break their own standstill in game 1. Play with like insane match and win and come in ninth on breakers. Only X2 won not to make top 8 of the GP. And the top, the top 8 was so good for me matchup wise. Are we getting Muxus here? Let's go, Mux Daddy. They have Rathman Dark. Oh boy. Um, this is pre combat. Holy cow. Do we cast another Mux? Do we spin it again? Raise your hand in chat. Do you want me to spin it again? I think we're going to spin it again, folks. Go for lethal here. We've got uh, currently costs five. Spin it again. Let's go. Sack the Mux. Sack the War Marshal. Sack the War Marshal. Again. Make a little noise here, huh? Double ringleader? Oh my god. You're doing it, Peter. Again. All right. Um, now we're going to play like Cranko and do it again, I guess. Uh, sacrifice that. Play Cranko. Maybe 2020 ain't so bad, you know? Maybe 2020 ain't so bad. Okay. And then we're going to sack Mux and some tokens. They're going to have like a fog or something and then wrath me. Big ups to our opponent right now for letting us do this, by the way. Big ups. And... We hit... Ringleader Warchief, that's it. And a Chieftain. Man, what a miss. Alright, Sack Token. Sack Token. Chieftain. We could Matron up another Krenko or the fourth Mux. Oh, we're bleeding tons of it, but we don't really care here. Just keep going. Play Matron. Get another Krenko. I wanna, I'm going for the high score here. And I'm going to miss the first period of this Rangers game. Let's get... We're almost out of cards in our deck, honestly. Another Krenko. Let's sack the Krenko for red. Don't concede yet, opponent. You've gone this far. Don't turn back now. They better take this damage, by the way. Uh, multiple prospectors, right? Is this lethal? Bad skull box blocks prospector. Sack prospector. Can I get a count here, please? Oh wait, I turn the instigators first. Ho! Three hundred and twenty damage. Uh, 
Uh, that was fun. All right, cool. Um, they didn't have anything. That was lucky for us. Yeah, big ups. To, let's give a, give a round of applause for our opponent for uh, for being a good sport there. Let, let us do that. That's pretty cool. All right, so we're going to bring in our Crater Maker and our Trash Master. Um, I don't think you want Chalice against them. They're probably a little less brainstormy, I guess. Screenshot. Oops, missed it. Somebody clipped that. Give me the old clip skis. Um, we're on the draw. Let's shave like... Like an instigator and like a chieftain. Just ship it. Oh boy, that was a nice one. That was a nice one. Mostly lost. Can you put that clip in uh, in Discord, please, or Lord Draken, somebody. If you have followed the stream, hit that follow button. Of course, that's what we do here on Long Monday. That's what we do. That's what we do. All right, we're on the draw. No lackey this time. This hand's pretty bad. Um, here, I'm logging this hand. Yeah, notice how tight we played, too. We sacked the... Uh, we made sure to sack the, the one that was blocked by the lifelinker. Perfect time to follow. Um, they all get a six. This hand's pretty bad. If we had a cavern of souls, I would keep this. We could just turbo out of mux, but... Because we have, like, Prospector on one, Matron on two. Eh, let's keep, whatever. They mulliganed. Really, Marty? They're already doing it? Jeez. Plan to keep six. I do like having the, the chat log, like, off screen like this. It's kind of cool. It's all the utility of me seeing it, but none of the ugliness of being on screen. Prismatic Vista, sure. Goblin Lackey off the top. Chrome Mox. That's not bad, honestly. Might find a use for that. We could, like, Chrome Mox out a Cranko on turn two. Could a Matron turn one? And for what? It's a fair matchup. We're not in a huge rush, you know? Two basics. Stoneforge Mystic. We're going to go for a Cranko here. They get the old Batter Skull. Goblin Chieftain. Um, hmm. We could Chieftain first. Obviously, they would like set up Cranko a little better, but let me just crank it here. So if, we, if we Cranko and they can't kill it, we get to cast Moxes next turn for a million, so I'll just go for it. They're probably going to get a path me here or swords me or whatever, but that's fine. And then, like, if they don't have another White Source or another land, they can't put Batter Skull in, too, so let's make them have it. Didn't have didn't have the uh, the Force or whatever. Couldn't daze me, obviously, because I have a Prospector in play, but that's a desperate brainstorm. That is a brainstorm from a def desperate man or woman. woman, woman, woman. Trying to play some magic here. Trying to find an answer to our Cranko. Can they do it? Cranko. The boss. Ponder. So desperate. What's up, Goblin Waltz? Do I enjoy Pioneer? I used to, and I may again. My mic is low volume. Nothing is the way it should be right now. This is a very temporary to set up my new office. We got a ways to go. That's not a desperation brainstorm. Yeah, it is. I say it is. This ponder is a desperation ponder. They're not going to be able to batter skull. And they shuffled. Folks, we have lift off here. It's crank out time. Um, that was actually a pretty good draw, too. All right. We're just going for it, right? I mean, like, they have to have Force of Will. They probably would have forced this thing, too, so. Um, let's play Mog War Marshal. And then... Let's play Goblin Chieftain, and then Cranko, and then Muxus, right? So we can sacrifice, make a token, make a red, make a red, cast this, tap this for five. Yeah, we're good here. Sack Marshall for red. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. 
a link for a standing desk. It's just uplift desks. It's a it's like it's like custom. You can like make your own designs and stuff. Crank daddy, crank it up. Oh yeah, let's go. We're a little all in here, but like obviously we were, you know. Even if they counted us, our board's still pretty good. So here we go. All right, they have a force of will. That's fine. Uh, we still get to attack for a good amount here. If they had, there's no way they have Swords Plot shares here. They would have used it on Cranko, so we have to attack with everything. We still have Matron in our hand, too, and Cranko, so. Did they, what did they pitch? They pitched a, uh, a Snapcaster, sure. Are you kidding me? Blind Terminus off the top. They shuffled their ponder. I don't have a good tilt sound effect. Unbelievable. Well, now we're screwed. Unbelievable. <sighs> Pretty gross. Um, what else they got? And a Snapcaster made for Ponder. All right. Well, we got a ways to go here, but yeah, Lightning Helix sound effect not currently on the soundboard. We got to, yeah, Sensor Beep's also going to be on there too. We have a lot of work to do. This is just a, this is my my like my testing soundboard I set up uh, actually a little while ago. You can see here it is. Pretty cool. All right, draw a step. Rang leader, sure. Rang it up. What was their ponder? Their ponder went uh, no shuffle. It's not good. Ring leader only hits one goblin. That's pretty bad. All right. Ship the attacks here. <laughs> that is a funny clipboard, Draken. All right. I mean, they can just like cast Batter Skull, I guess, but. Splashing black for Cyborg Thoughtseize. I don't think so. Red? All right. They cast Batter Skull. They have one card in hand. Cavern of Souls. It's pretty good. All right, just get the Mux Daddy, I guess. Wait, hold on, I'll tap those, stupid. Just gotta draw land. There's the Mux Daddy. Your turn. crap a whole year love your content jim gg thanks to Risa. appreciate that thanks so much we're talking bands yes guys it says it right here on the screen it says it in the middle of the game i'll make it bigger if y'all want that better how about that we'll get to it i'm excited too i know we gotta finish up my monday all right i'm very excited too i can't wait Council's judgment, they're voting for my Chrome Mox. All right, let's draw Ancient Doom, please. Or Chrome Mox. Well, now I don't want to cast my Chieftain, obviously, because I want to draw a land. Uh, all right. I guess go. Super awkward. Is there a clip of me hearing about the bands mid Mog Monday? Uh, maybe. Next following, uh, Pachydermic. Did I get that right? That'd be pretty cool. 
you haven't followed the show with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. If you're watching on YouTube, please take 10 seconds, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on Mr. Turbo Mux deck in the comments. Let me know your favorite color, too. Favorite color. Mine's Cerulean Blue. Teferi Time Raveler. All right. That Ponder was a, also not a shuffle. That's also not uh, a thing. All right. I think we're in trouble here. Um, Teferi is going to ruin our, our day, basically. We can't Ancient Tomb anymore, either. We get a block with this Matron, I guess. Oh, boy. Oh, somebody help me. What's up, Ian? We're just super dead, honestly. I should go to the next game. We'll see. Obviously, if we like draw a mana source, we can survive and cast Mox to possibly win the game, but we'll see what they do. We'll just go. Just go, 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 go. Go, go, go. We're going. Going good. The deck seems cool. Um, it definitely seems better against unfair decks, but worse against fair decks than than normal goblins because we're, it's a little more all in, but it's a lot faster. You know, no aether vial, um, no wastelands, no ability to grind really. All right, if we draw a land here, it might be all right, honestly. <sighs> it could be anything. Warchief, Prospector, Instigator, War Marshal. Okay. If you can guess, it's Chieftain, too. Um, we're at four. If we can make them chump block with the, the germ. I don't think it's enough either way. So, like... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have a ten, ten mux, and then it's three. Yeah, it's, we don't, we're not, we're not lethal here. Um, so maybe we like. I guess killing the fairies irrelevant. I don't want to leave back something to block with. I guess you can block with the Prospector and sack it. We're just giving them a free block here. We shouldn't even attack with these. They only have two cards in hand, so like... Ugh. All right, well, we gain some life at least. Honestly... If they had killed my chieftain, they could have blocked the instigator. They're gonna block. The problem is they can just like bounce batter skull and replay it, but that takes their entire turn. I think it's worth it. Let them gain four. That takes their entire turn. They have a bunch of huge draw steps, so. You draw any matron, any ringleader, any Muxus, any Cranko. Um, are, are any of our artifact killers? We have a few of those. All right, big money off the top here. Big money. I don't have a good like. I guess the lightning hills. Oh my god, is the best sound for that. But we did it. Taking out the trash here on Mog Monday. All right, let's finish off uh, Teferi. Attack them. 
No terminus, please. Opponent can't even complain because they are rich at terminus. Three and one. Three and one. One match left. We gotta finish fast here. I gotta. I gotta watch a Ranger game. We gotta do a, a, a band review. Let's go. New studio. It's up. Yes. We're, I'm in my new office. We're not set up yet. You can see here. This is uh, evidence. Uh -huh. There are boxes everywhere. We actually moved our stuff. That's my new sign. It's pretty cool, right? And then uh, there's boxes just everywhere. So we're, we're still setting things up here. It's kind of a temporary, uh, temporary setup so I can stream. Um, new desk is set up. New chair is set up. New computer is set up. Um, the monitor set up is uh, I actually have a monitor in the mail. My fourth monitor. You can see a monitor there. And there, and there, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna have a fourth monitor in this space right here. And then uh, keyboard's nice, stream deck and stuff. I have a second stream deck I'm gonna set up. I gotta get a new microphone. I might get a headset mic. I have a lot of, a lot of things to buy today. I have a lot of work to do. Um, yeah, and Nicole's desk is the, uh, the, the folding table because we don't have a desk set up for that either. There's nothing actually in the room yet. You know, we're still, uh, we haven't even moved as I said earlier. You know, all of our furniture and crap is still at my dad's house. Um, we're hoping to do that like this weekend, hopefully. So we got to finish painting the rooms and stuff and actually have like things to run. I know I, I have a hole in my chest. There's a hole in my heart. There's a hole in my heart. Aww. Thanks. I appreciate that. Long time coming. I agree. Very happy. Nicole and I are very, very happy. So is John. All right. So we're on the play. Double lackey. We're keeping this hand. Let's go. Let's do this. Life. New sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Thanks so much. Mog Monday must go on, you know? Mog Monday must go on. Goblin Lackey must go on. Let's go. Go get him, buddy. Opponent kept seven. We're going over the band announcement after this match. Sword Supply Shares. It's fine. What if I were to just do it again? All right, now this one needs to live because now we, or, or we need to draw lands. So our hand's pretty unplayable otherwise, so... A little all in here, a little all in. Need to get proper lights for the green screen too, as I was saying. You gotta get some good lighting in here, get some good get some good uh, blackout blinds for the uh, for the window. You see the sunlight's pretty bright over here, so you can see the outside world. I don't I don't wanna be able to see the outside world. Arkham's Astrolabe, sure. Man, double sword supply shares. That's pretty good. Please draw land. Please draw land. Oh my god. <laughs> Nick, resub. New sub. What's, I'm sorry, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. Thanks so much. In historic, would the format be healthier if Lackey was in instead of Muxus? I don't think so. Lackey's pretty stupid. Tropical Island. Oh. Astrolabe. I got stuff to do today. Astrolabe. I don't got time to be here all day. You and your Euro shenanigans. Uh, all right. Warchief or Rangleader? They are tapped out. Give me Ringleader. Force of will. Great. Euro? We killed the Euro. Yay. We did it. We killed the Euro. Sylvan Library, sure. I know it's really sad to say this. I think this deck has too many Ringleaders in it. Like, Muxus just kind of removes the need for Ringleader. Ringleader's like this fun, grindy card, and Muxus is just like, eh, I win. And like, if you want to win games of Magic, you're probably better off just playing the I win card. We're currently 3-1. and one. This is game 5. Ranger game starts in 10 minutes. Gotta beat those hurricanes. I can put these YouTube videos up too. All right, they have three cards left. I mean, we got tons of gas. Buck. Hey Jim, always a pleasure to watch you play some goblins. Here's to paying for more Mog War Martial Echo costs. Thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. We have echoed Mogor Marshall once in this league so far, and I will do it again if necessary. 
I'm just gonna ringleader again. I mean, I think it's better than War Chief. Um, if you draw a lamb, you get to like dump multiple things, probably. Hopefully, maybe force again. Great. This is awesome. I mean, now we're down to one card, man. This is this is phenomenal. Um, they got one card left. They got rid of their Euro, which is kind of crazy to me, honestly, because we can't beat a Euro. Um, and we're just like, you know, cranking along here. Yeah, Ringleader's a fair magic card. Muxus Goblin Grandee, not a fair magic card. John from Charlotte, playing Magic since 2010. Watched a lot when I was on the SG Tour. I sparked your love for Goblins. We have a card, Chittering Rats, favorite deck, Soul Flare. Possible puppy named Chip. John, thanks so much, my friend. I appreciate it. Stay safe with the Hurricane, right? Now it's coming to the coast, right? Another Mux Daddy. Let me just ringleader again. I mean, they're going to they're gonna play Euro next turn. So we are in a little bit of pressure to actually like kill them. Maybe we should play War Chief, actually. And then we draw a Lamb, we can Mux, and if not, we can Cranko. Yeah, it's War Chief. Go get him, buddy. Shitter Rats is pretty cool. When I wasn't drafting five color affinity mono blue artifact, sunburst, whatever in that format, I like the black deck a lot. Chittering Rats. Grim Claw Bats or whatever it was. Echo Wing Decay, Essence Drain, Swamp too. Oh, they're gonna plague each other crap out of us next turn. Nico from Pennsylvania News uh, playing since M13. We have a card, Deep Analysis. We have a deck, Lantern Control. Love it, Nico. Thanks so much. Astrolabe. Yeah. So they play a Euro here. We draw a land, we get to slam the Muxus. They shouldn't have a force at this point. They've already used two forces, hopefully. So. What are they going to ban Astrolabe and Legacy? What's up, Mr. Wide? Mr. Ride? Mr. Ride's. Wild ride. Prismatic Vista, one card in hand. All right, let's draw a land, folks. Can we get a land off the top? We can. We need the... That sound clip needs to be the... All right, let's do this before it. It's just too jarring without it, you know? I gotta... We have a lot of work to do. I keep saying that. Let's go. Mux Daddy's here. We hit. Oh, hello. Okay. Um, matron. We already have a war chief in play. I think we got a mog war marshal, and we get to Krenko and do it all again. So marshal's a ritual. Oh god, we're buffering and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, folks. Again, things aren't set up properly. I gotta get my new rider set up too. This one sucks. Alright. Do it all. Sack that. And sack that. And sack that. And play Crank Daddy. I miscounted. I have two warchies in play. That was stupid. Screw up. Whatever. Alright, and then we're gonna sack uh, a goblin. And am I gonna send a mux again? Or a ringleader. I think it's mux again. Sack the mux. Give me another mux. Spin the wheel. This one hits a matron. And a, oh, yeah. This, this game is over. I must say, the way this deck is built, you do win the game when you cast Mux like 90% of its time or more. We get a gem palm here. We get to kill Euro. It's act for lethal.
Hello. Opponent. What's going on? Get some weights. Lift some weights. Here, I love this water bottle. That hand eye coordination. Look at that. Woo! Let's get a juggler. Up. Oh, there we go. They're back. Yeah, I want to use the ability. You're dead. Oh, my jet bomb's in play. That's super awkward. Um, all right. Let's get another Cranko then, right? Yeah. Sure. Do do. I keep this one. I'm gonna activate that. Pawns have real sports today, you know. Let us have all the fun in the world. Play a ringleader. Gonna hit some uh, some stuff. <laughs> uh, I need like a da -da 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 song. Oh, game. But I was having fun. All right, so uh, that was cool. They're like a four. They're gonna have. They're gonna have plague engineer for sure. It's so rude. I don't want chalice, right? We definitely want the crater maker, I guess. We don't have many ways to actually kill a plague engineer, honestly. Um, I don't think I want chalice. I kind of want pyroblast, maybe to kill Euro. We can shave some of our, shave some of our X ones. Shave like, Marshall Prospector, Prospector. We have cheapens, I guess, but let's try this. Yeah, we had a little hiccup on the stream. I don't know what's going on. Um, we've had some issues. I haven't actually had an issue with the new computer yet. I don't know what's wrong with it, but. I have this brand new router that's um, it's right here. I gotta set it up though. Oh boy. Hashtag soon. Um, we're gonna keep this. Gotta keep this one. Pony keep seven also. Make him have the answer to our lackey here. Go get him, buddy. Uh, okay, they're gonna try and ice fang me. I think we're gonna get him. I think we're gonna get him. God, I love Jim Bomb Incinerator. We're gonna put in our rang leader. Yeah, I'll put in rang leader. We could put in like the instigator and go for a huge turn next turn. That, that folds really hard to play like engineer, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, yeah, awesome. Um, we're gonna discard. A lackey. I think I want to keep my lands for Muxus. I don't think the extra lackey really matters. Maybe the instigator is just worse than lackey, actually, though. I should be instigator. Ice Fang again, sure.
Well, I don't know what the issue is. is my upload is actually really good right now. So I don't know what the deal is with the, uh, the stream not working, but I got to keep going. So we're just going to keep going. Um, the Ice Fang draw cards say go. We draw a Goblin Chieftain. This hell have Death Touch when they sack this land. So Chieftain's like not even that good. I think I would rather... I guess we could actually probably just Mux this turn, right? Um, so we can Prospector and then just 2, 3, 4, 5. We have to sacrifice everything to Mux though. Might be worth it. Just do it. Just do it. Came to play. Came to play. I came to Mux. All right. And Mux is what I'm gonna do. Let's go, buddy. Mux says. Don't stifle me. Planes. Sword supply shares. Right. Muck says, Warchief Lackey Instigator. It's actually pretty sweet because we can attack here with at least the Instigator. Um, not with these two. We're just having everything, actually. At least one will get through. And we can bring leader and just kind of go nuts. So. so they're gonna let me have it. Um, no, yes, no, yes. Instigator will first strike it down. That means they could have a wrath in their hand if they're willing to just chump block here. You only get one trigger? Yeah, I think they have a Wrath. Put in the old Ringleader. Only hit one Goblin, but it's a good one. It's a good one. What you got, opponent? They have a Wrath here. We have Mux next turn anyway with the Ancient Tombs, too. This, gets, this deck's pretty sweet. I mean, like, even these fair games, we're still playing pretty well, so. Brainstorm. Fetch land. Play Euro. I mean, they're just they're just dead as can possibly be, right? Whole righty then. Um, let's just do it, right? We're just gonna mux again. We can actually put in the the chieftain pre first strike damage, uh, or with first strike damage on the. Uh, on the instigator too. They're freaking dead. I, I miscounted. Oops. That's, actually, it didn't matter. I said I said that anyway. Mux hits everything. Attack step. One million damages. Yes. Put chief in a blend. Game. Blouses. Me. Nope, but I couldn't see how much damage is dealt. Aww. Aww. We'll take it. Four and one, Mog Monday. That was pretty sweet. Uh, deck super cool, honestly. Um, I like it. I like it. Definitely, we did do better than I thought against the fair decks. I was pretty worried at that first fair matchup, but that, that was sweet. Mux is just stupid. It's just a stupid card. Like, it's just too good. Honestly, like, it just... When you... You build your deck to do nothing, do nothing but cast Muxus, you know? And, um... Yeah, that's that's my Monday. I love you all. Look for my, um... My ban reaction announcement 
uh, on YouTube if you missed it. or about to do that right now on stream, all right? YouTube folks, I love you. Like, comment, subscribe. That's it for my Monday. I'll see you next week, all right? YouTube, I love you.